Okay, um, from where you are, Corey, I, there's nothing that I can see on the map, so I think you're good. Corey? Is he the guy that was restarting his computer? No, that was uh, oh, Barda. Maybe Kenny stepped away too. Anyway, yeah, the stuff's on page 26 there of what I linked in Discord. Uh, which one is it? Talking to me? Yeah, I was just looking it up real quick. It's uh, B-U-E-R. Beer. Grandmother Huntress. Did you roll a check where you are, Kenny? Before I stopped. Where you stopped? Okay, there's nothing yeah. in that area either. I don't want to get too far away from everybody because then they're going to be like, where the hell do you go? No, that's fine. I just, you're in one of the tunnels that they use for their main troop movement, so there's no traps in this one. Yeah, and Yogi, you should come forward a little bit. Want to get too spread out? All right, there you go, John. I, I put that paragraph in uh, Lost Empires. Uh, that's not what I'm using, but I do have that as well. Oh, you, you mean healing GFTA is what I'm using. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, move forward. The way is clear. And there's no limit on how many times you can do that? Uh, nope. It's very slow, but it works. It's not very effective in combat, but out of combat, it's pretty good. I guess nicer when you get a little bit higher level. Well, fast healing is pretty good, but it's that healing gift that's out of combat really good. Well, fast healing is amazing out of combat, especially oh, yeah. in situations like this where you spend five rounds sneaking down a tunnel. Oh, yeah. That's why I picked it. <laughs> So I asked about the dungeon. They use magic missile. I can't stop magic missile. Ergo, I need to be self-sustaining on healing. I mean, really, if I want, I have essentially fast healing too, but I can't take a standard action, so it is what it is. Okay, Corey, there's nothing in the immediate vicinity. All right, where did they go, Barda? They went south. Sorry about that. I, w I, <clears throat> I thought you were going to be gone a little bit longer, so I did a quick restart on my computer. No, I came back just as you were doing your restart. <laughs> Oops. 
Stop standing on me. Sorry, I was moving my character forward and I grabbed your torch when I tried to move forward by accident. <laughs> Don't stand so close to me. Can I just get a light source on me? I don't have to have the torch. Because I'm not going to, like, have not have Do you have a consistent uh, method of holding a light? Yeah, I mean, I just have a shield and I have nothing else in my hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can turn on the light. Get rid of this torch. I don't normally do that because your torch only lasts as long as you have oil for it. Yogi, can you turn into something that has scent? Um, I don't really buy a lot of stuff because I don't understand what to buy in this. So I'm not I'm not worried about the mechanics of you carrying around 50 pounds of oil. I just said in general, you don't carry a torch around with you 24 seven. So. It's only when you're yeah. in combat you have it. The reason I put it on the map is a lot of players throw it down on the ground when combat starts so that they can use both of their hands. Yeah, if I'm throwing my torch down, I'm probably fucked anyway. <laughs> nope, that's totally fine. I'm not upset about it. I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> I have my, de my dinky little dagger to the common peasant. Odo's... <laughs> um, <laughs> what's called monk had a, an ever burning torch he just held in his hand because he could just fight with his feet instead of his hands i forgot about I those you should, you should just buy I should, this. Yeah, I should, I got one of those. you should just put like 25 gold <laughs> so 25 yeah i really should have got one of those i'm gonna run out uh i think a ever burning torch only lasts a certain amount of time though <laughs> is it really ever burning? i thought no. ever burning was permanent well, Everburning is, but making a spell permanent is expensive. Like, just the material components more than 25 gold pieces. I think Everburning requires a 50 gold piece No, gem. Continual Flame's a third level permanent touch spell. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Everburning doesn't last forever, then. Otherwise, Continual Flame wouldn't exist. We'll continue. We'll continue. Uh, an ever burning torch is just continuum. Contin oh my god, continual flame cast on a torch, which is permanent. Which means that it shouldn't be cheaper than the spell to cast. Yeah, it's 50 gold. But if you're going to cast a uh, continual flame on something, you just cast it on a necklace or a headband or something. Yeah, totally true. All things Bart, true. Bart actually has a, I think he has an amulet of, uh, Never burning. No, it's just a coin with light with permanence casted on it. Yeah, but you keep it like around your neck, don't you? Yes. Nah, it keeps but it it's not pocket. ever burning, it's just light. It's just that the guy cast light on it. Yeah, the spell that he casts on it is called Continual Flame. Oh, I thought uh, he left. cast light on it, not Continual Flame. Continual Flame is a light spell, it's just they named it that. It was called Continual Light in 2nd edition, but for some reason they changed it to Continual Flame. Lights aren't very medieval. Flame is medieval. Therefore, name change. But the yeah, yeah. zero level spell isn't called Torch or Lantern. It's called Light. I don't know. I didn't make the game. I, I yeah, wasn't blaming you. I was just... Is third level Cleric. Did you want those... Three hit points topped off there, Bardo? Mm, it's five, but no, thank you. I don't think it's... Are you sure? I have literally a, unlimited uses of this ability. I, it does not hurt me to do it. I mean, if you if you have unlimited uses, then it's, it's not going to hurt to, for you to do it. I shall do so. Merry Christmas. All right, moving on. Swift Corey of the step foot. Yeah. Oh, wait, how long does uh, overhealing last? Does how long does what last? Her health. Over overhealing. Oh, uh, it lasts for an hour after you get it. Wait. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. You That's... only get is worth half. So each thing to overheal is only worth half. Yeah, but if it's infinite. We're not going to go down this path. It lies madness. Uh, 
I mean, the problem, I the problem it. with healing is it can very quickly be used against you because if you uh, once you get to double your hit points, you start making saves or you explode from positive energy. I, I could use at least one overheal. Be nice. <laughs> you don't like your fifty-eight hit points? Uh... Yeah, how does your hit point total suck so badly? Yeah, well, like... I only have D eight. Oh, that that should put you low. Marshall is a uh, not a very not a martial class apparently. Only gets D eight. You expect someone who's on the front lines of combat to have front line combat die? Fuck you. Get nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I have the same hit die as the bard now. I guess the real trick is to just walk up to anybody now and cast heal on them while they're fully healed. I mean, that would what? save actions in combat. If you're going to take the damage anyway. If, if you can only overheal them. No, what he's saying is someone who's unwounded, if you double their hit points, then they have to start making saves or die. The problem is they get to pummel you while you're doing that. And if you fight back, your ability doesn't work. Dude, you can make a whole cleric build off of that. Yeah, that actually happened to us in the uh, uh, Mirror's Romance game. The paladin has an ability that gives him like 50% of his base as temporary hit points. And the boss realized that up front and hit us with a positive energy aura. And just filled the battlefield with positive energy fields so that he kept healing every round and just didn't attack him. Can't he just stab himself? Yeah, you can stab yourself. But uh, you never know when that's going to turn suddenly. Then your goal is to get back down to your base hit points. At which point you've wasted all your time getting all those extra hit points. Better than dying. <laughs> no oh no it's definitely better than dying but it was it was one of those things where it, it never come up before and he started the combat with going yeah i've got lots of hit points i can take a hit from this guy and uh the dm was like yeah we have a contingency for that and the positive energy aura came on and he went oh fuck i gotta get out of this field oh east or west um, Yogi, can you turn into something with scent? I could, but why? Don't um, our counts have uh, scent? No, I looked it up. I thought they did. Currently, we're walking through a dungeon trying to see things with our eyes, and this dungeon is just a bunch of little cracks in walls. If there is a group of kobolds somewhere, you can probably smell them. And instead of wandering aimlessly over traps, we might actually find a direction to go. All right, let me look at my list. <laughs> well, just a wolf gives you scent. What about your companion? What's he? What kind of creature is that? It's a bloodhawk. I don't think he has scent, does he? Might. No. Well, we tried. I don't know what crack you're on. Hound Archon scent is in the special qualities list. Where are you looking? Is it in there? Yeah. It's the one that starts with an S. <laughs> like the suck cut. I mean, if it's there, then... Yeah, it's a mundane ability. There's nothing special. Oh, about there it. it is. I see it now. I have reading. Overrated. Yeah, it's the one that starts with an S. All right. So I try to sniff them out. 
Okay, you can roll your survival check. Um, just for mechanical reasons, I believe your spell resistance is 10 plus your, uh, hit die. Okay, um, you do not smell any fresh trails in this area, Yogi. Well, we'll keep walking. You just keep trying to pick up sense while we're walking. There wasn't anything to our to our east, because uh, there's the wall over there that we were walking through, right? Yeah, that was the direction that you exited the dungeon last time. But yeah, I don't really know where how we're going. Well, let's go this way then. Maybe, do you want to try going around the perimeter again? Because we didn't go around the perimeter the whole way, did we? Uh, yeah, you did. Oh, we did? Okay. The outer layer you have seen most of. There are spots where you went up and then went back and then went up somewhere else, but... You've been to the outside wall on all sides. Did we check down there before? I don't remember going down there. Well, I'll let you base your memory on what you choose. I'll have to see it to find it. Okay. Um, right there in front of you is a trap. Um, I think that is enough. Yeah, because the highest spell is fifth, and that would be a DC 30. So it's disarmed. Okay. And then right there is another trap. Oh. Okay. Um, you failed to disarm it, but it is not a fifth level spell, so that isn't enough to trigger it. Okay, do I get another chance to disable it? Yeah, you can try again. It's just if you roll five under the uh, DC, you trip the trap. That is enough to disable it as well. Well, not very sneaky. Okay, where are you going? Um, what does it look like is down here? Another tunnel? Yeah, there's another opening down there. Remember, no tight spaces. I can't follow. No tight spaces. I go through. Oh, was this the outside that we were on before? 
Uh, you can roll an insight check. Um, I think you have been here, but this is not the outside. There is at least one more corridor to the south. So the corridor to the south is the one that traveled around the whole thing, or is it, I haven't been there yet? Uh, you're not sure, because this area was an area, if you've been in, you only glanced through. I think you might have went in and out of one of these tunnels, but that's about it. Where the hell am I? I can't follow you. Alone is what you are. Okay. Yeah, feel um, free to follow him. I can walk around out elsewhere. Corey, you can see on the ground uh, just to the east of you are the charred remains of a kobold. The charred remains of a kobold, eh? For the people! Oh, that's where the guy blew up. That's where the whole party moved up to that trap while they were waiting for you to disarm it, and the kobold ran forward and stepped on the trap. Okay. I uh, call down the corridor and ask if they're coming. They are not. Uh, Bart has well, already said he can't follow you. We can try. Well, there's this nice little light area over here. Let me go check. Uh, it. I could give him. Sir Barda, and he's gone. That's where nope, Barda walk right through it. Don't shaped it. Nope, that's just an opening in the passage. Oh. If His stone shape just turned a ten foot hole, or five foot hole into a ten foot hole or whatever. Stone shape was typically only used if I was stuck. Yogi, come down here and sniff around. Um, I could help Bada with the the escape artist checks. That's just to get through the cracks, right? Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. guys want to, or you could walk through the ten foot passage. I do wear big boots. I can give you a plus seven on the escape artist. That helps. Up here. Seems like you've already walked through it anyway. Yogi. Sniff, sniff. Hold on, sniff. I'm waiting for the group to catch up to you. He's bringing up the rear. Oh, so, okay. I will. Oh! Oh, we found him! This hallway looks. You guys are so fucking lucky. <laughs> Hallway looks Let me very guess, everyone walked right past a trap without stepping on it? Not only did you walk right past a trap without stepping on it, everybody went around that square, but everyone except for Corey was in the radius. <laughs> Perfect. There's another survival. Okay, uh, 27, um... I'm going to say that you can definitely tell there's been kobold activity in here, but you cannot get a uh, direction on it.
Corey, there are no traps within your perceivable area. So up to the north now, is that, so is that the pathway to the door? Um, yeah, I guess technically not. There isn't a direct path to the door to the north simply because the doors are on the east and the west. Uh, can everyone stop for a moment? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. We found them. Or like they found us. But... Yeah, you walked right past them, um, went the other way. I actually was waiting to ambush you, and then I zoomed in on the map to see where Corey was going in the other direction, and I pushed them off the map, forgot they were standing there. Okay, uh, Cronus, you take 14 points of magic missile damage, and then the cool. Oh, then it's initiative. Fuckers. All right. Hey, Barty, you're an all right dude. Don't let anybody say you're not. Why is that? What did I do wrong? Because I, I, I have spell immunity magic missile on now, so you're a good dude. I thought you were being sarcastic. I was like, what did I do this time? <laughs> no. What did I do this time? I Well, I'm not going to say I've never done anything wrong, but I'm going to ask why I seem to be in trouble now. Um, every time. I feel like this is I have the... Sorry. I have the macro in the macro section, but how do I roll it? Well, if you go into the macro sh section and click that little checkbox, it'll put a mm -hmm. button on the... Uh, the screen with the name of whatever you called the macro yeah, and then I you see. just then click you on your token that. no not that one it'll appear at the bottom that's the character sheet one hmm. that just has your decks in it um whatever you named the the uh, macro will pop up at the bottom and then you click on your token click that button put in your mod Yeah, we never determined what the mod was for a uh, spiked chain because it was such a poop weapon. You did not make one up. That he is so absolutely true. You. He was too busy criticizing you for your choice of weapons. <laughs> it's true. He, he was too busy criticizing my chain, what, chain, chain spike chain to give it a, a mod. I'm looking okay. it up. Well, Relax. Did you use a spike? <laughs> he was yanking your spike chain. Yeah, I, Spike Chain is on the Masterwork weapons list. It's a speed factor of six. Don't pretend like it's not there. I don't actually know where that list is. I just clicked the initiative button, uh, the initiative document, and I was like, oh, no. I don't know where I'm going. No, there's, in the uh, documents channel, there's one that's called Masterwork Weapons, and it has the speed factors listed on it. So a six means it's a minus six penalty. Yes. All right, so I have a mod of zero. So will, you have nothing but your dex and your uh, your weapon? No. No armor, no feats? Well, armor doesn't give a bonus, and it doesn't give a malice to me either, because it's just a, just a chain shirt. Well, standard chain shirt's minus two. Yeah, but it's the, it's the no penalty chain shirt. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yep, no, that's fine. That's just a lot of people take improved initiative, so they'd have that bonus. Yeah, that's a, that's a reach feat. We're, all, we're getting on that. Did you say a reach feat? No, like a, like a reach, reach goal. There we go. There we go. Now you we're go, looking girl. sexy. But, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, we get bonuses of that from, from our Marshall friend, I believe, anyway. Yeah, not yet. Let me change my initiative on yours to 10, like it should be. There we go. Okay, exactly as I planned. I go first. Although, you might not. Uh, Yam, what's what's your Yam goes first. Yeah, Yam's got a plus five. Don't forget to put your plus five in there. 
So we get a plus five to all initiatives. Is that accurate, Sedara? No, if you roll a 20, you get plus oh. five to it. Oh. Well, he has an additional plus to that. What's our an extra initiative modifier, is there, Kruger? It wasn't on. It's not on? Why not? It's a reflex from the traps. You're terrible. Your one uh, job. Worst sister ever. Worthless wench. So I go first? Yes, you go first. Uh, I Do I see what direction the magic missile came from? Can you see someone who can cast magic missile? Well, I mean, he got hit by it. Like, what direction did it come from? Came from behind. Like, that way? Same? Yeah, that way, cool. be behind. All right. Um, I will cast... Yeah, I'll cast. Yeah, fuck it. I'll cast haste on everyone. Everyone gets haste. From from. And then as a swift, I'll change my minor to uh, bonus motivate dex. So bonus on dex initiative. Bonus on dex checks and skills and initiative. But not saves. Not saves. And then I will if I have a move action. Uh, oh, five foot here, and cure use cure minor. You just cast haste. Minor is uh, a swift. Oh, swift. cool. Oh my good. Brother Cross plus six. If you get high enough, you can cast a spell as a standard action, a move action, a swift action, an immediate action, and a free action. So you can technically cast five spells in a round. That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, you'd have to be like twentieth level to do it. All right, shoot. magic missile fucker. Oh wait, no, I don't. Okay, so then we're on to the warrior, and he will beat a hasty retreat now that he's expended his one magic missile. Okay, and then we're on to Corey. Oh, I forgot. Everyone gets plus two. We uh, got. Hit with magic missiles and then disappeared? Yeah. I'm utterly shocked. Welcome to the Kobolds. Ironically, I one. could have actually run up and stabbed him while he was flat-footed, but I didn't. Could have. You would have paid for it. I dare you to do it next time. I, uh, I called down to him in Draconic that uh, if they just surrender the dragon's tre treasure, we won't have to kill them all. He laughs maniacally and says, uh, we will never dr s surrender something so sacred as the dragon's collection. But he's already dead. <laughs> and you will suffer eternally for that. Barda, you totally should have told them that you killed the dragon. Yeah, Barda, you should definitely tell Wait, them you killed the dragon. Wasn't... 
It wasn't me who killed him, and Varda is not the type of guy to lie about his accomplishments. <laughs> Corey, wasn't it you who killed the dragon? Oh, yeah. But you're not painting a target on your back? You're just low on spray paint? You can use chalk. You've got chalk, don't you? I do have chalk. There you go. Tell him that uh, you're the one that killed the dragon. Are you doing anything else? No. Okay, then we're on to Yogi. I stay right here. I could take an action, but I won't. Kronos, you're up. What's he wielding? He is wielding a spear. A short what spear. A, what a turd burglar. It's gonna be my short spear in a second. I'm gonna be hasted. Yeah, no, that's why I'm going up to him. That's why I'm counting out five foot squares one at a time, even though I know I have ten extra movement rate. Isn't it thirty with haste? I meant you were only counting to forty and then uh making several attempts at it instead of just uh moving up to the square you want to be in because you clearly have 10 extra feet to move. That's fine. Are you trying I'll to get past him? Yeah. Okay, well, I moved you here for a reason. Oh, okay. What you got... Twenty-seven hit your flat-footed AC? Okay, then you take d6 plus one from a dagger. And to go along with that, four d6 points of sneak attack damage. A sneak attack. Where'd that come from? Oh, hello. The sneak standing in front of you. Is he invisible or something? Nope. He was just hiding. Oh, what a turd. You just ran right up to him. Didn't even look. What an ass clown. Who 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 walks without looking? Not this guy. I meant you're, you've got six seconds to take all of your actions. You're not panning the area for everybody. I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> you're not uh, fucking with me. Never gonna happen. Well, I'm not gonna give him an AOL after that. Well, he doesn't get sneak attack on an AO. I'll be fine. I have, I have infinite healing. La uh, famous last words. Don't want him to get away. Very so famous. There. If, I, if I move there. Are these like holes in the wall or are these just. Yeah, like... there's a hole to the south. He's standing right in front of it. That's his escape route. Oh, then. can't really stop him. He's just going to five-foot his ass into the fucking hole like a clown. Actually, he cannot five-foot into it. He has to take a move action to go through the crunch oh. space. So as long as you're adjacent to him, he won't go. Th he probably won't go through it because he'll provoke. I'm not going to give myself, obviously, a flank. Then I'll just... Uh... Yeah, I'll just uh... attack that guy then, I guess. Now I'll attack the sneak attack. I hit me. Fuck him. Okay. So, there you go. 
Nice and simple. Okay. Just note his damage. I think he has damage reduction. Yeah, yes. The sexy one damage to him. Oh, wow. He has DR3. That's pretty nasty. Yeah, I have DR3 too. He wouldn't have done any damage to me except for one if it wasn't for his dumb sneak attack. Well, on the plus side, you get to take all three points off of the uh, 19. Okay. Um, oh, you do? You don't? Re- okay, okay, okay. Copy that. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, because it's all one attack, so um, gotcha. it comes off the total, not off of each. So this guy will move up and sneak attack you from the other side. Fuck him. So he sticks you twice. I don't quite like him. You like him less now? And then the warrior, who uh, was just waiting for you to come back. Five foots up and uh, stabs you with his spear. These are just like ready actions. Uh, he actually delayed. He just moved back and then delayed. Boy well, missed. He missed. Okay, yeah. So he is done. Well, hey, look who's flanking! Look who's flanking! Yeah. Oh yeah, he can flank. Corey Merry can Christmas, move up and buddy. flank. Except that he's already taken his action this round. Assuming you're alive next round and they stay there. It's fine. I wasn't aware uh, one could hide in plain sight. Well, now you know, and knowing is half the battle. They always could. They just can't start their stealth from uh, unconcealed space. Yeah, he interrupted my he interrupted my movement, so it's you know it's just interesting how that worked out. Well, he interrupted your movement because he was physically in front of you. you yeah, like, you that's stood what I'm saying. Like, he was spirit. hiding in plain sight. Like I literally walked into him. I don't know how this guy got here. He was uh, to the north. He just snuck around. Yeah, that's but it was why... still my turn when he when he stabbed me in the fucking ass. That is technically true. Did you take your action? No, I, I stopped. Oh, sorry. Yeah, talking. it's your go. It's your go then. <laughs> I, I was. I thought you had already gone. You know what? You're right. You did. You, you did. did. I did you liar. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm just a dummy. I am just a dummy. It's true. You were the worst liar that ever lied. It's true. I'm very bad at it. Okay. Um. Then the two down at the end of the hall. Uh. Well, first one will magic missile you. You guys come out of nowhere. Ouch! Yeah, uh, you, as soon as you get up there, you'll see where the nowhere is. Well, I can see in darkness, so I should be able to see the entire hallway. Yeah, you can see the entire hallway, but uh, you can't see around the corners. Nah. So wait, they, oh yeah, yeah, never mind. They do 18 points to you, so you are at zero. Mm-hmm. That is very squishy. I mean, yeah. On Turns the plus out. side, you can stand around for the next 20 rounds and heal yourself. It's true. Okay, the other one will target uh, Corey. But he has spell immunity, so it doesn't do anything. He will move to there. How did he move there? How did he move there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how much squares did he go through? I have 10 foot reach. Oh, if you have reached, then he would provoke because he wouldn't be aware. Well, maybe yeah. he would. You will fall unconscious if you attack him. Ah, that's yeah, that's fine. true. Um, he went. I guess these guys will just kill me in my sleep. I will. I will not do that. It's a bad idea. Yeah, once you're helpless, you're really easy to kill.
Okay, um, then we are on to Corey. Or no, sorry, we are on to Barda. It sounds like combat's coming from up north, so I'll start heading in that direction. Remember, it's double movement to go through Quarry Square. That's oh, Bart is my hero. Takes the flank spot from Quarry. Did you expect feet. anything else so, from Barda? Well, you have haste, yeah. so you go I an couldn't extra, see that they extra. were there. So. You have so haste, you have, you have extra haste. movement. Okay, so I can keep moving. Yeah. So, as my you provoke when you do that. Here, as my second movement, a five foot to there. No, you provoke going into the square that is the flank. He put, he can he. This is considered a uh, yeah. That is road, even though it's around. The corner. Oh yeah, it's around a corner. Sorry, I was gonna say it's a full square, but it is around a corner, so you have cover there. Okay, and then you you can't five foot diagonally though, Barda. Uh, five foot here then. Okay. That'll be my turn. Hopefully I can get to you on the next round to start laying some heals down. Um, we all learn lessons harshly. Extra harshly in your uh, case. Yeah, the hide in plain sight thing caught me off guard. I thought we covered that last time, but maybe we didn't. We just I, the way I've always played like for the past three years is that like you can see people that don't have cover to you, even if they've made a high check because they can't hide behind like the air. Yeah, but they can be just pressed up against the wall and not obvious. Jeez. Everyone gets plus nine in their initiative. Plus um, nine. Yeah. yeah. He switched his auras around. Wow, that's impressive. So. It'll be an easy, nice three on that. Oh, wow. That's garbage. I assume Crimson's not doing anything since Yogi's not doing anything. Roll to sex. One. Do we just update ourselves on the list? Sorry, what was that? Uh, do we update ourselves on the initiative list, or do you? Uh, if you ha if you roll to one, you update it yourself. Just put in a minus five penalty for that. I will I did, I resort it. For it. Me on, on this. Yeah. Did you click your token when you click the initiative uh, macro? Uh, I thought I did, but I didn't. That's why. Yeah. If you were looking at somebody's hit points or attack somebody, the it moves you off of your token. Yeah, but everyone gets plus nine on their initiative roll here. So. That's yeah, pretty sexy. Nine. Even the guy who rolled minus four. Don't forget to take off yeah. your minus five penalty. Okay, Crimson is up first. I assume he's not doing anything, so we can move on to Corey. All five foot up. I'm only doing a standard attack. Why only a standard attack? Because um. he poops on him. <laughs> going to assume he dies from all that yeah probably then i will move to here and i will let all the kobolds know in draconic that i don't know why they're attacking the other guy i'm the guy who killed the dragon
it always makes me warm and fuzzy when Kenny does that. He's awoken the rumble. That he has. Okay, then we're on to Yogi. The one thing I hate about sneak attack is you have to get into combat to do it. And there's really no retreat. And then they don't get to use their uh, magic missile. I was like, he died before he got to use his magic missile. God forbid you don't get to use sneak attack and magic missile on the same guy. Well, if he had uh, done one or the other, he could have tried the other. But he automatically got the sneak attack because you didn't notice him. So it was stupid to reveal himself with a magic missile. I think he should have done it. Well, Crimson's not going to listen to me this round. Good job. I was going to have him defend Yam, but nope. Interesting, since Kronos is almost dead. It's fine. I don't know that. That's fair. It'll all work out. I just become a vestige. The vestige of failure. What does that give you? Uh, minus two on all attack rolls and a minus three to AC. Also a minus seven to perception. Oh, that's a real uh, consequence? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's my own personal vestige. Uh, that's what I thought. I thought you were joking and I was making fun of your joke and then you're like, oh, these are the penalties if I fail while I have this deal. And I was like, oh god, that sucks. <laughs> Well, the perception was my own perception, but the minus twos are just, you know, fuck you, minus twos. What? Well, I have no idea where they went. Well, you can see Bardo to the north. Yeah, he's just standing there. He is just standing there. Okay, um, then we move on to the warriors. And this one will five foot over. And he gets two attacks on Corey with no special bonuses. I think those are both misses on you, Corey. Yep. Then the one adjacent to you gets two attacks. And they, how did, oh, I know what's happening. I'm not putting in the second mod. Yeah, that 16 is actually a 26. Is that a hit? Uh, I don't think so. No. Okay. The 20 is accurate, but the 7 can't possibly be accurate because I'm plus 11. But even a 17 isn't a hit. And then the last one can move up. Woohoo! Not that it matters, but uh, I missed it again on that one. And I think that's all of the warriors adjacent, so we're on to Barda. Is he? St uh, are you prone? Or are you still awake? Or like able to? Are you still standing? I'm still alive, uh, standing. Funny enough. I'm still standing. I won't. I won't be standing there for long. <laughs> uh, I'll cast cure critical wound, which is four. What forty eight? Eighty fours. Eighty fours time plus thirty six. I think. Basically, healing him to base. Jesus Christ. Well, it is cure critical. You were pretty critically wounded. Holy balls. You rolled really well, too. What did you take for your fifth level spells, Barda? I only have one readied right now, and that would be... You're very terrible at this game. I only have one ready, one level five spell available to me per day. 
Yeah, it's because you have a terrible wisdom, but you also get your two domain spells. I have a 20 wisdom. I don't know what you mean by terrible. Okay, well, 20 wisdom gives you a bonus 5th level spell, plus you get one for being a cleric and two for your domains. You should have four 5th level spells picked. I didn't realize I had got extras from a 20 wisdom. Yep, 20 wisdom gives you an extra 1st level and an extra 5th level. I had Righteous Might readied as part of my as my cleric spell, and then for my other spell, I had readied a the flame strike. Okay. You but get, if I have four, I was just well, you get two domain and two cleric. cleric. Right, and those are both domain spells technically. So I have two other two cleric ones ready that I can do as well. Okay, well you figure that out. Well, the sneak murders Kenny. He can actually make a full attack on him. I think he's going to do that. Oh my god, what a total pile of shit. They got close. 27's not a hit on you? You're such a cheating bastard. Okay, well then he will five foot back. And we are on to... The Sorcerer. who is very excited uh, to know who killed the dragon. I'm glad that he's excited. Asmo Killer. That would be a good choice. He will target you all with slow. Not very nice. So you can make a will save. Oh, yeah. That just, that just auto dispels our haste, unfortunately. DC. Oh, yeah. You guys just lose your haste. Yeah, but we don't get slowed either. It's a nice bonus. Yeah. Do we get the save, or does it just cancel the, the haste? I just think it just automatically bless. cancels the haste. It's like, it's like okay. Bane and Bless. Slow counters and dispels haste. I totally forgot you guys had haste on. Oh, well, he wouldn't have known that. From from. Uh, then we will move on to our Ray of Enfeeblement, which is a terrible spell to cast at Kenny, since he has a ridiculous uh, touch AC. Does that hit all of us? The slow or just those? The... Just the people in the top there, because it's only like a 15-foot radius, so if you're not around yeah. that corner, it wouldn't affect you. Good. Yeah, he's only plus 7. He doesn't even have a real chance of hitting. 24, is that touch AC for you, Kenny? Yep. Okay, uh, you are hit with a ray of enfeeblement. I don't think it has a save. 
I didn't even bother looking it up because I <laughs> didn't think it was going to hit. Yeah, it's 6 plus 1 for 2 caster levels to a maximum of 5. I assume he has, like, uh, whatever the fuck shot or whatever. Yep. Yeah, there's no saving throw in minute level. Ten points of strength. I think that puts Kenny out of the fight. Mm. Well, it means I can't use my swords right now, but it doesn't put me out of the fight. What's it reduce your strength to? Uh, two. Can you stand up with a two strength and wearing armor? Um, I don't know. Probably not. I know the primary reason to target a warrior in heavy armor is so that they can't stand in their armor. Well, he is just glowing <laughs> as you fall to your back helpless. And he quotes you some kobold uh, religious jargon. I don't have anything off the top of my head because I didn't think that was going to happen. That's crazy that that thing doesn't have a save. Well, it's because you have to hit. It's a hit or a save. Yeah, but it's a minute of level. That's a lot. Well, somebody cast bull strength on me. <laughs> Pour a potion down my throat. Uh, I assume a 13 is not a hit on you, Cronus? No. 23? We're not that terrible. No. Well, it would be flat-footed, so you'd lose your dexterity. Where'd voice. he come from? Uh, he just snuck up on you. While you were looking at Barda going, oh, God, that feels so good. He ran up behind you and did, like, the double dagger to the kidneys uh, trick. What a tool bag. Uh, is 13... flat -footed? Yeah, what's your flat-footed AC? Flat-footed AC is 20. Well, that's fine, then. Is 23 a hit on you? It's flat-footed, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess that's... Uh, 26? Wow, you have an amazing armor class, too. It was higher once. Yeah, well, I did tell you to buy heavy armor. Go strength instead of dex. 20k on armor. Okay, that's uh, totally fair. Instead, you can take another 19 points of damage. Nah. I mean, isn't it physically impossible for him to buy that? Probably. But you can't spend more than half, then. Right? Why can't you spend more than half? More than half of your gold on a starting item? That seems like a reasonable rule, but I did not uh, tell him that. I uh, think that's everyone, so Yam, you're up. I have a question Would for, for later. I guess I'll ask it now. Would blindsight prevent me from being pooped on? Uh, not unless you were actively watching for someone. How does one actively watch for someone in combat? That is a choice you make every round in combat. Like, you, if you know there are rogues around, you can say, hey, can I make a perception check to see if there's anybody around? Is that like an action then, or like, what is it? You can make one uh, free check every round, and you can spend actions making additional checks. So if you start your round by saying, I roll a perception check, that's a freebie. You just use your base perception check. You want to spend your swift, your move, or your standard. There's bonuses associated with each one. Or you can make a check with your full action um, as well. Gotcha. Hey, John. Shot in the dark here. Does he have precise shot? Yep. He already asked. Cronus asked that. There is one thing I do have. It is classic knowledge of the ray attacks and how scary they are. 
on how to prevent them by asking the DM pedantic rules about precise shot. <laughs> I'm plus five to pedantic rules. Um, I will cast. Uh, Holy fuck, why'd we come in here? Yeah, that too. I'll cast Inspirational Boost and do a song for an Inspire Courage. Okay. What uh, does that give them? Inspire 10 Strength? No, unfortunately not. Wait, do I have... So are you completely laid out, Corey? Yeah, I can't do anything until somebody pours a potion down my throat or something. I don't have a strength potion, unfortunately. I've got Masterwork Exceptional Breastplate. I don't know how much it actually weighs, but... It's like 20 I, pounds. I, yeah, really? Something like that. You can look it up on the table. The weight is the thing under the weight. Yeah, but it's also magical. Magic doesn't change the weight, though. Oh, yeah, I don't have anything to show. If you buy, oh, yeah. if you look on the table on the blue stripe for exceptional breastplate, it'll tell you all the stats of exceptional breastplate. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I will cast uh, courage, spy courage. Um, I'll give, I'll do it half and half for the dragon fire part of it. So, uh, three. Plus... Just type it in the chat so we know what it is. I don't. It's 14 pounds. Yeah, the base is like 20, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Well, that would be the number above it. Well, I already closed the table. You should have memorized all of the stats before you closed the table. What can you lift with a two strength? Oh, fuck, I have no idea. Oh, I figured you looked that up. How did you get to a 12 strength? Is that from reading the fighter book? Probably. I right, think I was that's everything one. for my turn. Yeah, I have a plus one inherent bonus. Nice. Oh, I'm going to make a perception check. Just to see if I can see. Anything spooky around me. You do not notice anything in your field of view that is spooky? Um, heavy load is 14 to 20 pounds, so technically I'd still be standing. That's a good thing. Oh, wow. Okay, so you're just completely encumbered. Yeah. So you don't That's suffer any fun. real penalties other than you can't move. Yeah. Okay, um, just because I know this is going to come up very shortly, um, searching for traps and searching for People are two separate actions. You can't do both simultaneously. What did you say it was? Uh, what type of action was it to do a check? Just You can do a check it. as any action. You get one for free. Then you can use your swift, your move, or your standard to make additional checks. Oh, okay, then I'll use, just because I have it, I'll use a swift spot. Actually, no, never mind. Scratch that. I can't. Never mind. Use my swift action already. What'd you use your swift action for? Um, no, it's the, it's the dragon fire song, or whatever, right? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, it's a swift action to cast it. Initiative. No, actually, let me double check. I think I got the spells mixed up. Yeah, if you use a swift action, you get plus one to your check. Move is plus two to your check. Uh, standard is plus four. And as a full action, you get plus ten. Came in very handy in the plane escape game when they were facing a rogue who had a flat 35 check and nobody in the party could roll that high. Oh, yeah, no mind. It's a swift action. Yeah, we use my swift action for the spell. Right. All right. So I'll you do. moved, you swift, you standard, you're done. Yeah, I did the free check for people, and then, yeah, the, don't worry about a second. You're done. Um, okay, then it's uh, Cronus's turn. Sorry, were you saying something, Corey? 
I was. I does anybody have a bull strength potion or a spell? Well, bull your strength? cleric gets strength as his domain spell, so he can probably cast it on. I you. I have bull strength that I can cast on you. Yes. Okay. And we have two potions and loot. Yeah, but it's more than a standard action to go and cast the spell on him, whereas Barda can just hand him the potion or just cast the spell on him while he's standing beside him. I am going to use a swift action to try and look for spooky people. Okay. My amazing perception check. Sexy. Nice. That probably wouldn't see you any spooky people if there were any spooky people, but there are no spooky people, so nothing. Oh, shit. There might be a spooky person. Hang on a sec. Let me see what your line of view is. Okay, 19 not enough okay there is a spooky person you just didn't see him well we tried um so they'll go over here which is a problem and that'll flank him so someone has to die i'll full attack this this clown in front of me okay um cory are you going to prevent our friend from dying sorry cory's the frozen one uh, Parda, will you move to the north a bit to prevent our friend from being massacred while he is sapped of his strength? I will. I have, I have uh, an idea yet. Copy that. I will stand here and hopefully not die. So, two attacks on the clown in front of me. I will. So you might as well, I'll, I'll just do the damage now. So that's slash roll 66. It's 3d6. I, I split it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I, I got, I hit him twice. Okay, yeah. And then, yeah, an extra flat six. Seven plus eight plus 18 plus six. So 39 damage minus his DR, which is three. What's your strength? Me, 13. Okay, with a, are you using it as a two-handed weapon or a double-ended weapon? Two-handed. Okay, because you double your strength on that. I think I have that in there like that. Oh, I, I just guess... wanted to make sure I just, you rolled really, really crappy, so. Well, I don't have a very good strength score. I'm using weapon finesse for it. Uh... Yeah, right now I have strength plus one and a half, which I guess isn't actually right. Yeah, it should be strength plus two. So I guess that's an extra two damage, which is close, but not enough. Oh, wow. How did you do? Did he already take damage? No, I just did 40 damage because I have a bard that gives me lots of damage. Yeah, but not 40 points of damage. Uh, 18 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6. Oh, okay. You get the 6 as well. Okay. The six was what I was missing. Another 12 points really makes that uh, potent. I will use my free action, because I forgot I get a free perception check to use perception again, because there's no reason not to. I've just been pooped on. You did that at the beginning of your round, didn't you? I used I used a swift action to do that. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, 17 is also not high enough. I guess it's, it's I guess if it helps, the swift gives me a plus one on that 19, which I don't know if that would help. On the 19? No. There you go. No, his uh, stealth check base is plus 19. We are done. Oh, okay, okay, then we're back I'm, to I'm, initiative. I think I'm, I think I'm getting how this I never right. had my turn on this round. Yeah, you did, Barda. Didn't you go? No. You cast Cure Critical, yeah, didn't you? you? Heal. Yeah, you Was healed the fuck this, out of me. That's the same, this, the same round? Yeah, this fucking oh, round's gone round. forever. All right, never mind then. <laughs>